Get your foot in your car. Give me a kiss. Hey, you're fing kicking me. Just get out of the car. That's another phone. I'm asking you for a fing kiss, man. You're going to get fing up. I'm killing you. You bunch of stupid pigs. Go your fing car. I can't be going to jail for no goddamn reason. Because you want to take somebody to jail so you can feel good about yourself. Most times, the last person you'd expect to commit a crime is your own boyfriend. But what happens when they step out of line and have to be arrested? Here are five of the most insane occasions when crazy boyfriends realize they've been arrested. Get your foot in your f***ing car. Give me a kiss. Hey, you're f***ing kicking me. Just get out of the air. That's another thong. I'm asking for a f***ing kiss, kiss, man. Starting with 22-year-old Nicholas Walker Eckert, who on November 24, 2022, got into an argument with another individual and then brandished a knife at a liquor establishment before fleeing the area in a vehicle in Chanahan, Illinois. When police officers arrived and began to ask questions, we soon understood that this was not Nicholas's first encounter with the law police. Hey man, did you call? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going right now. Okay, is anybody like hurt or anything? No, no, no. Okay. No, he Took off. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, come on. Ah. Well, we got probably a guy with a knife. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah. that's and why. I, I guess because oh, I didn't see it myself, okay. but uh, the guy I was sitting next to, they said it was like that long. It was like a good okay. close to six inches. So that's where, why. Where was this at? It was right, right here. here. Right uh, near the, the kid's name is Nick uh, Eckert. Nick Eckert or Eckert or something like that. Oh, uh, I know. Who yeah, I kind of I knew the kid too because I knew the girl that he was with. So that's how I, I do or I Facebook her real quick. Fuck, Nicholas I did, and the only reason why I recognize him is because I've seen him on the Grundy County page just recently. I'm like, oh, okay. For further context, on August 21st, 2022, Nicholas used a knife to stab and cause great bodily harm to another male somewhere in the Chanahan area. Since it was another knife-related issue, the officers soon began to ask about what had happened. My girlfriend is, uh... Abby, Abby Valerio? Yeah, it's Abby. Yeah. Abby Valerio, okay. Gotcha. Right. So she was with them? Yeah. yeah, I think okay. she was in the passenger seat because I was sitting there and he came in and it was between, it was him and that had the altercation. So I was just sitting there and yeah. I saw it. I didn't even see the weapon, honestly, at first. Okay. Uh, I heard him yelling like, Was, oh, beef, was beef with knife. you or was someone no, else? No, it was with him. It, it wasn't with me. Yeah. So what, what, like, what all started that? They were at the red light and yeah. I seen him looking over so I went like this for rock, paper, scissors. And then he's okay. like, he's like, what, what, what? And I pulled up here and then I'm like, and then he came, he's like, we have a problem? I'm like, I went like this for rock, paper, scissors. And he's like, oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. And I gave me a knock and I walked out. And I was like, wow, there's gangsters and more. And then he came back in, hold on, he's like, what, bitch, you don't know me, I'm a gangster, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, and I ran behind the bar, I'm like, I'm not gonna get stabbed tonight. Okay. Um, so he brandished a knife at you? Yeah, Do you remember, like, what the knife looked like green. and all? It was green. It was green. The handle of it was green. It was at least six pocket inches. Pocket knife. Oh, it was a big no, it was at least six inches. Yeah. Switch blade, pocket knife. Yeah, or switch. Yeah. Yeah. You, you it out. Okay. Soon after, officers went to look for him in his house, but couldn't find him until they received information that Nicholas was in the Seneca area and he was immediately confronted. Hey, man. What happened to Abby? Uh, we were driving by looking for kids' parents. Uh huh. And there's guys throwing, doing some in the window. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna pay you down real fast yeah, you don't have any weapons yeah. on you, right? Anyways, the guy, the guy... Do you have any knives or anything like no. that on you? I can't. Sorry if I empty your pockets? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, so what's... So, some people play rock, paper, scissors with you? No, that's what he said. I walked... So I walked... This guy is throwing something out, like, going out something out the window. Uh-huh. I walk in, I'm like, is that a problem? Because I, I didn't know what he was doing. He yeah. tells me, he's like, nah, I'm just playing rock, paper, scissors, woo, woo. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I had gave him a fist bump. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I walk out. And then he starts talking more. Oh, I want to beat this ass, woo, woo. Yeah. And so I'm like, I walk out. I'm like, dude, dude, who's this Like, what the f are who? Like, who are you talking to? And then sure. he ran behind the counter so quick, like, like a bitch. Uh -huh. I, so I threw his drink. You just threw his drink? Yeah, I threw his drink. He grabbed his phone, and I threw his phone. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I put my hands on him. Okay. Look, uh, thanks. As soon as I seen you ran down the car, I wasn't one man. I love. Okay. 
So, tell me why am I? I'm hearing different stories from other people. I'm sure you're gonna hear a lot of different stories. I'll talk to you in a second. Do you have a green knife by chance? Did you brandish a knife to the bar? No, I don't have it. I can't you carry can a knife. I'm not on buying four knives. I can't. I don't carry knives. I don't even carry my work knife on me. Okay. Well. Here's the deal, man. So this is gonna be a charge for right now. This is gonna be a charge with aggravated assault. Okay. Turn around, pull me. Am I under arrest? Yes, you are. For what? Aggravated assault, like you just said. I don't have a Hold on, Abby. Why? Stay in the car. I didn't do anything. Okay, stay in the car. Abby, stay in the Wait, car. I didn't do anything. Stop, stop, stop. But so why? I'll explain to you. During the encounter, Nicholas explained his own side of the story, but as expected of any criminal, left out the part where he flashed his knife. As a result, the officer decided to arrest and put him in the patrol vehicle and then proceeded to question Nicholas's girlfriend, who also chose to hide the truth. That same exact thing, literally. The guy, we we're waiting, we we're looking for this piece of ass mom that left me with these kids. They're not your kids? The, the girl is. Those two are. Are they his kids? No, they're my sister's kids. She left me with them and she's at some bar in Morris. We have no idea where she's at. You're fine, baby. So you're supervising them for right now? I'm not supposed to be. She left me with them. Okay. Just left me. We were trying to look for at these bars mm -hmm. and Polly's dumb ass goes like this and says, want to fight to Nick. And of course he's a hothead. He walks in there. Of course he does. And then it, it, that was it. That literally, he didn't hit him. I made sure he did. I made, told Nick, do not hit this guy. Okay. So I mean, to, well, I was told by three different people that he pulled a knife out in the bar. He don't, he, you can please search my knife. There's no okay, knife. I will. So yeah, that's what basically three people saw a knife in his hand, went he, like this. He might've pretended with his hand, but he has no knife. He can't, he's a felon. He just got caught up stabbing, so he can't, he can't. Okay. No knives. I was right okay. there, there's no knives. Okay. If you take him to jail, these like, all these kids are going to DCFS. I can't do this without him. Okay. Please, 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 like, well, pick him up let's hop out of the car and say, like, this is your car, right? Yes. Okay. After hearing the same story from the young woman, the officers decided to search the car, and it didn't take long before they found what they were looking for. Turn her down, please. So why are you covering for him? I didn't, I didn't go. Well, probably because this is the exact knife that was described to me. So how are we supposed to sit here and believe at all that that, that didn't happen now? He just handed it to me because he's been so telling me since that was the hand on. That's what he told me. What is he, what's happening? Like, what is he getting charged So he's with? gonna be charged with aggravated assault because he brings us a knife, one in a public place and a, at a person. So he's well, gonna be going Paulie? to- what about He had one too, apparently. That's not what was described to me. So right now it's just a charge. No one's convicted of it. It is unknown if Abby was actually telling the truth or just pretending to escape punishment, but allowing the couples to talk to each other one last time soon became a very bad idea. Whoa. Stay in the car. Okay. You're getting arrested. I know. Can I get up to at least? Stay in the car. I can't like have her hug. Stay in the car. No. I want to do that right now. I you know, I'm not going to do nothing. Go nowhere. I got you. You got me handcuffed behind my back. Oh. I look. <gasps> we gotta go get back to Morris. Shut the f up. Dude, Nick, I've always I'll been cool. I've, I've, I've always been cool with you, man. No, bro, you're sitting here arresting me for what, dude? Aggravated assault. I didn't do nothing. Nick, I've always been cool with me. You've always been cool with me. You're arresting me on I didn't do. Okay, we're gonna get going. Like you're arresting me on I didn't do, man. Look at, look at me. I'm looking you dead in the face, I bro. am looking at you. If I would, if I would have, if I wanted to do something, I would have did it. Okay, we gotta go, man. But like, you're arresting me on false charges, bro. False charges? No, I'm not. How? Do you got proof I had a knife on me? They have it. What knife? The green one, they have it. I don't have it on me. I didn't have it on me. The one that was literally described to me that was in your hands. So get in the car and let's go. We have to go. Don't take off. No, Get back in the car. Sit down. Stop, bro. I can't believe you're doing this. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Get your foot Come in here, your baby. car. Give me a kiss. Now you're kicking me. Just get out of there. That's another felony. I'm asking for a kiss, man. That is another felony. I'm asking for a kiss. You already got me in the car. car.
I'm asking for a kiss. You already got me in the car, man. Seriously, Nick. At first, Nicholas tried to make a run for it and subsequently became agitated. And even after being forced back into the car, he refused to acknowledge his mistake. I told you to get back in the car and you would have refused. What are you talking about? I sat in the f***ing car, bro. You had your legs up the car. Because, I told you to put him back where in where the car. If you listen to a single goddamn where word I, I go? say, you're going to the jail now. Oh, duh, but where the f*** would I go other than that? You got me cuffed. How the f*** would I run if you got me cuffed behind my back? Are you, you just You just said you were going to run. You just how? told me, you're, you're, I'm going to go, how? I'm going to run. You just said that. But how? Oh my god. Use your head, I'm dude. done. I know you're not dumb, bro. Can I put him in the next Like, one? use your head, bro. Don't worry about it. Okay. All I did was ask for a f***ing kiss. I'm going to jail, I'm not going to get a bond. I, I didn't have to have her come back and Like, do you not get that? I'm not even going to get a bond, bro. Yeah, now you're not. Like, do you see my charge? Like, I'm already got enough charges. I know. All I asked was for a kiss, bro. Yeah, and you got one. I'm not gonna and a hug. Like, I can't. You, I can't even say bye to my daughter, bro. That's my daughter's sitting in the back seat. I can't problem. even say bye. Kind of not my problem. Exactly. You're just being a. D you would have went with the for what? In the first place. I was sitting in here doing what I had to do. Okay. You're arresting me on some charges that are shit. Okay. Like it's Thanksgiving sure. night, dude. Sure. Like, and you're just being an asshole. Sure. Whatever like, I sat down in. in the car. He told me to get in the car. I sat down in the car. Sure. Like, give me a minute to put my sure. legs in. I asked for a kiss, bro. That was it. Sure. This hurt like a motherfucker, bro. I'm sure you kicking him in the chest hurt, too. I didn't. How my legs don't even reach that high? You were kicking, kicking my, le you were my legs. You were kicking my legs, My legs have been down here you on the bottom of the you door. You literally were just kicking my legs, man. Yeah, not your chest. My legs. Because I was trying to give her I'm a kiss because you're being a dick, man. Like, why? Why are you being like that? Because you're not going with the program. Dude, I've been doing nothing but going with the program. Later, Nicholas finally realized his mistake, and after saying his goodbyes, he was taken to the Grundy County Jail, where he began to explain what actually happened. You went to Abby's, you saw um, whatever his name was making, doing yeah, like rock, yeah. paper, scissors stuff. Yeah, I don't know. What, what happened mean. after that? Um, I walked in, and I asked him, I said, do we have an issue? Uh -huh. And he was like, no, I was just playing rock, paper, scissors. And I was like, oh, okay. And I gave him a fist bump and I left. I was like, cool. And then as I was leaving, they started saying more shit. They told me, oh, I would beat his ass. So I was like, what the f So I went back in. I was like, we got a problem? Like, is there an issue? Like, I was like, why? Like, are you really going to say some shit like that? And then he just ran behind the counter. And I just left. I knocked his, I knocked his drink over, grabbed his phone, tossed his phone on the floor, and walked out. It's okay. At any point during that, incident did you pull a knife out yeah you pulled the knife out can you describe the knife to me a grain of blood okay um did you point it at anybody no okay can you show me the like how you pulled it out i just i grabbed it i grabbed it in my pocket yeah i flipped it open i just stood there like this i'm like really bro you flipped it open yeah i okay. just stood there like this I was like, really, okay really and then did you say anything or did he say anything no, to you? Just, i was just like really like like yeah like, like, you can sit like, down i was just like like just basically like, 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 like I'm not one of these people. Sure. Like, don't, like, you can't just talk shit about me. Like, how you do some car shit like that? I'm talking about me where I need. Mm -hmm. And I just left. I talked the shit over and left. Okay. Nicholas was later charged with aggravated battery to a police officer and aggravated assault. But Nicholas isn't the only one who was entitled during an encounter with the police, as you'll soon see. You're gonna get up! Kill you! You bunch of stupid pigs! Don't you on August 4th, 2022, an officer was on patrol when he noticed 31-year-old Kara Venable, who had pending drug charges, at a park in La Crosse, Wisconsin. However, in order to avoid escalating the encounter, the officer chose not to mention what her charge was and instead called for a second officer. Right, you start me an ATL with Kara Venable at the park. We just needed a, I think an officer had a question with you about maybe like a theft or something. I'm not entirely sure, but can you hang tight the front of my car for me? Uh, I can stand right here. I'm not gonna go anywhere. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait till that initial officer comes down and then we'll we'll figure out the whole situation, okay? What kind of theft were you talking about? What? What kind of theft were you talking about? I don't, I, I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head to be honest with you, Kara. Robert, go find Dakota, please. The whole situation about like where, like I don't understand. I, 
I wish I knew, but I'm not. I don't. I'm not the investigating officer entirely. Okay. So what do you know? Just that Tony had talked to you about about a case. That they need to talk to me, or they have talked to me. That, because no that, one's talked to me about anything. That yet. someone needs to talk to you. That's my understanding of it. Okay. Is there any way I can just give him my phone number and he contacts me that way? Not right now. I don't think. Excessive, don't you think? Me standing here? No, it's not. While the officer waited for backup, Kara became impatient and called for her 23-year-old boyfriend, Dakota Gallette, who arrived and believed there was no reason for Kara to be in custody. The theft or some pending case, I'm not entirely sure. I still have someone needs to talk to her, or an officer needs to talk to her, so. So what, is it just going to be a ticket that gets issued then? Or I, I have no idea. And when did, when so, did this Yeah, when did, when did this, this theft supposedly happen? Because I haven't done or gone anywhere. I'm not the initial officer here, okay? And I probably misspoke on the theft, but someone needed, an officer needed to talk to you, so. That it was misspoken on a theft? Officer, I misspoke thinking even... it was a theft, but an officer needed well, to talk to you, Kara. So, so let the officer talk to you, that comes out. hostile with me just because I'm right. asking questions about what the I'm going trying on. to explain it. You're not telling me though. You're telling me you think it's a theft, and now you don't know if it's a theft. Right. I, I just explained that I misspoke. How is you okay? So then she should be so free to go. Home. That's not how it works at all. So yeah, how yeah. is it then? How, what is it not then? If it's leave. not a theft. You're what not is free it? to leave. Is she under arrest? Am She's I not under free arrest? to leave. Is she under arrest? She's not free to leave. You can't leave. Is she? No. Am I under arrest? Not yet. You're not free to leave. So then she's free to leave. She's not. If she's not being arrested, she's not being detained. She's detained. I just said she's. You just said it. You just said she's detained. I said if she. How do we even not know what it is? Can you ask them what it pertains then? When it gets here, yeah. Why don't you just ask him over the radio? Give you me a second, Kara. Come on now. No, because I've been asking him for 41 to 66, what's your 20? I've been standing here with the f pertains. Right. And then you tell me it's a theft, and now you're telling me you don't know if it's a theft? You don't know what the f is? For real. Why would you Gabby. sit there and lie? I'm telling, no. telling you what no, I know, you Kara. said you thought it was a theft. And, and then I explained I misspoke. I the impression that it was under a theft. And now you're telling me that it's something totally different. I, I didn't so say it's totally different, I said I misspoke. How are you going to sit there and tell me it's one thing and then it's not? Right. Okay, since he's here, hang tight with him. I'm gonna make some phone calls to get this all figured out, okay? Soon after, another officer arrives on scene and gives the first officer the chance to check Kara's charges. However, it became clear that the couple already knew what was happening and they immediately became agitated. Uh, we're just, he's gotta make some calls on some stuff. Yeah, and about he's what? telling me that he doesn't even know what it is about. Like, yeah. right. first he so tells me it's we a have theft, the right to be known, when you're getting that detained, you have know. the right to know what, what the f it's actually about, for so real. So what does it pertain? Well, is that? I'm, I'm about to, um, about to get real upset here. Okay. Well, yeah, we, got an email that, we got an email that we got an email that investigators something. had some stuff they needed to talk to her about. So. Investigators had some stuff about to talk what, about what exactly? Because I've already know. told the investigators. If you I'm don't not know, then why the, why the hell? Shh. I know what it is. Do you think I know every want, case no, listen, that happens? No, they want me to come in and they want me to start stitching on mother. And I've already told him no. I don't care. I don't know what it is. I already told him no. We don't know what it is. Well, I know what it is. Yes, you do. I know what it is, and I already told. 400 Let's cases say, a day. I already told that investigator he can kiss my wife because I ain't telling well, him a mother thing. We'll go double check and if that's the case then we'll be out of here. It's bull I'm sorry. No, I, you harassed me in the trying, jail about snitching on my family okay. and now you're coming out here in front of God and everybody to do it too? You can kiss my f***ing white ass word out of me. I don't want a word out of you. After confirming the pending charges, the officer advised that Kara was under arrest, but that was when things quickly escalated. Okay. So like, like I said five minutes ago, I misspoke. Huh? What is it then? You have pending charges for- Excuse me, no, no, no. Back up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up! You're under arrest, Kara. You're under what arrest. For? Yeah, yeah. What, what for? Arrest for? It? What for? What am I under yeah. arrest for? You get your hands off me! Party to a crime for delivering methamphetamine. Bulls**t! To what? To who? To who? Where are you? Let go, you're going with her. Let go, you're going with her. You want to go with her? Let go! Let go! Go get while attempting to take Kara into custody, her boyfriend continuously interfered with police, leaving the officers no choice but to take him into custody as well. On your stomach, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. For what? For resisting. For what? For resisting? Even after ultimately being handcuffed, it didn't seem like Dakota was going to make it easy for the cops. I let go when you 
I yeah. started to. No, you didn't. Bullshit. Can you sit up? Yeah, you're bullshit. Can you sit up? <laughs> bullshit. Review the camera set right now. No, before I go anywhere, right now. That's not how. Yes, it is. Yes, it's still all uploaded to your computer. I know it. Sit up, please. No, it's all uploaded to your computer. You know it. So replay it now. Dude, watch the house. Hey, watch the footage now. I can't do that. For yes, you can. You have it on your laptop. Which isn't right here. No, it's in the car. So don't do it before I move anywhere. Yup. Yes. You gotta sit up. You see that? Yes, has us. I got the whole I'm opening up a lawsuit against the cross police for excessive but, force. But for right now, we have to get no, to the squad because you're no, going to jail. No, I'm no. not going to jail. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I will kick you in your face right now, then. You stupid. Well, I hope you don't do that. But we have well, to. I hope that you let me the go. Otherwise, you guys are getting a lawsuit. Nope, you're going to jail. Bullsh don't take him, please. I didn't do anything. Don't take him. Bullsh. Don't take him. Bullsh. Don't take him. Bullsh. Can you sit up? No! Once you let me go! We're not letting you go. Yes! Don't take yes. him! Please don't take him! Okay. What's your take badge him? number? Please don't six, take six, him! Alright, you're getting a f lawsuit That's open up. Fine. And Baby, a file, can I file a grievance right now? Yep. Please yeah. stop. We can't right do that from the ground. Yes, I can. No. No. I can clearly saw one sitting right here. Tonight, you sit up. You gotta go to jail, No, I don't. Baby, No, I don't. That's what's going to happen. Hey, I'm talking with him. No, we're sitting up. Just hold up! Hey! All this while, the duo resisted arrest, with Dakota yelling obscenities and even threatening the officers. But that was nothing compared to what happened next. You give him my phone right now! Terry, you, you'll have your phone. You give Christopher my no. phone right now! No, help me get her up, please. That is my phone. I do not treat him with my phone. No. Not him with my phone. Stop. I'm your ass up when I see you on the outs. I never forget a face. I haven't searched. Right. No, you can f off. Come back up. You can f off. Come back up. You got any needles on here or anything? I got a searching. Hey. Big f***ing nut! Alright. That's excessive! Stop! Stop! You're stop. not f***ing resisting! You're successfully hurting me! You are resisting! No, you're successfully hurting me! You're tobacco, you f***ing pig! Find some more f***ing drugs, you Stop! Dakota, stop! You gotta search her still. You're not putting hands on me. I want a female officer. I want a female All officer! All I'm searching, Kara. All I'm searching is your you pockets. You will give me a female officer. Hey, so help picking. me God, I will snap. I want a female oh, officer. Don't touch me! Can't get the best search in the back me. pocket. Hey, she has a female officer! No, she doesn't. Bulls! Bulls! Watch TV. It's not a law. It's not. A law. It's not. I want a female officer! You're not touching me! You're not touching me! Can't get the best search. Let's get the right back right pocket. I want a female officer! You're not touching me! Don't touch me! Alan, get back, dude. Come on now. Don't touch me! Kara, can you scoot back you're a little bit? You're not touching me! I said you're not touching me! Don't touch me! For those who don't know, there is actually no law that prohibits male officers to search women during an encounter. But somehow, the crowd wasn't having any of it. You there's, had the right to fucking wait for a police, a female there is no, police officer. There's no female officer on. And that's Here. not a law. That is not a law. Can I at least get my phone back? She we can get it. Phone okay, phone. we gotta wait till they handle it. I need you to stay back, okay? They have female police officers. We don't have any on today. That is a law. We did not search a female. It is not. We are here. Trust me. You're wrong. Oh, no, no, no. I, no, it'll be things you say. After being placed in the police cruiser, a straw used for methamphetamine was found in Kara's backpack, and she was subsequently taken to the station. However, this did not sit well with her boyfriend, as he soon began to make matters worse for himself.
what stupid pigs doing f***ing are! Hey stupid, you got these cops way too f***ing tight! Stupid f***ing loose in these f***ing cops! Can't f***ing feel my hand, you f***ing n***! Alright, I'm definitely opening up lawsuits, my hand's f***ing numb! Hold on, you can- My hand's f***ing numb! That's fine, you can open up a hundred lawsuits. Dude, my hand's f***ing numb, loosen it at least! Not when you're physically f***ing You then, you f***ing stupid Can't- Look how many cops it took, cause you're a scaredy Oh, it only took two of Yeah, oh bull It took one, two, three, they four, just showed five, up. six, seven, eight squad cars? You were already you're in the car. You're You were already in the car, Cody. I don't give a f I can still have freedom of speech. Yeah. Stupid f you can Say whatever you want. Yes, yeah, stupid f It's not disorderly conduct when I use I feel statements and I feel like you're a stupid f You just gotta relax, man. No! It's you. over, okay? You. Just relax. You. For real! But that wasn't the end of Dakota's entitlement, as you'll soon see. I request medical attention too. It's my ribs are on my head. You're requesting medical attention? Yep. Okay. For what? My ribs. Okay, you want to go to the hospital? When you'll slam me up. Yep. You want to go to the hospital? Before I got him in here. I said we were ready. You heard me. Okay. He had no right to choke me. You jumped us, man. Huh? I wasn't in cuffs. When you choked me? No, I wasn't. It's all on camera too. Sure is. So, and I'll be f***ing you up when I see you on the outs. I hope you know that. Well, that's a felony. No, it's not. You just threatened the law enforcement officer. That's all we need is cooperation, Dakota. Cooperation for what? But I you're fighting with us. That's wrong. not gonna. I literally let go, and you guys slammed into me, which nope. pushed me to the f***ing ground. Yep, you yes. got taken to the ground because you got No, I wasn't. I literally matter. let go. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. Bull it's all on video, bud. Uh-huh, it is. We pushed you back like 10 times and told you to get back. <laughs> okay. That's why I didn't even need to come here. I just love wasting you guys. It's your bill. <laughs> no, it's not. Because I, I refuse medical attention. You don't want medical attention? Nope. I just love wasting your guys' time. We're already here, so you're getting after arriving at the hospital, Dakota refused treatment and was uncooperative with hospital staff and also swore at a doctor. In the end, Kara, who has 10 additional charges between 2018 and 2021, was charged with battery to a law enforcement officer, resisting an officer, and disorderly conduct, all as a repeater, and possession of drug paraphernalia with a cash bond set to $1,000. On the other hand, Dakota, who also has previous charges, was charged with threat to a law enforcement officer, obstructing an officer, resisting an officer, and three counts of misdemeanor, bail jumping, and a cash bond set to $500. But boyfriends being dumb and entitled doesn't end here. It gets even worse. If you come back on this property within this complex within a year and you police see you on the police. Why you gonna sit there and tell me that? If I want you, I can do that. Y'all can't take me there. On September 10th, 2022, a 19-year-old man was reported to be harassing a young woman said to be his girlfriend. After several warnings to stay away, he refused, leaving the family no choice but to call the police. Apparently, he was talking to my child. Your, your daughter lives here? Yes. With you? Yes. You all live together? Right. Does he stay here? No, he's not from here. Hi, Officer Gadsden. What's going on? I'm just trying to talk to you. That's it? She don't want to talk to you? I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I answer. Nobody wants she to got a phone. phone? She's not answering. Okay. So you understand that her mom don't want you here. She's not answering the phone. Yeah, so. and I respected that. So the first time she asked me, I didn't come. Mm -hmm. And that was like a whole while ago. Still haven't heard now. What happened for Let me come back. Let me see if I could talk to him. I'm just trying to talk to him. I'm not doing that. Yeah, but. All right. I advise on 1012. For what, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why? Well, I mean. I'm not sick. Just. Can you listen to me for a second? Stop arguing with her. For what? You don't even Hello, know me. Hello, sir. You don't know me. Hello. Um, I just like your daughter. I'm trying to talk to you. Ma'am, can you just can you let can you let me talk to him for a second, please? Do you want to step over here and talk? Okay. So where we at now is you, you she I'm don't want you to talk here. To your daughter. That's it. Hello. 
I'm trying to speak to you. That's cool. I don't got to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you. You got to leave, though. Why do I got to? Because she, she don't want you here. Yeah, but I want to be here. During the encounter, the young man not only disregarded the officer, but refused to understand that he was not wanted. But even after being advised that he was no longer allowed on the property, the 19-year-old remained uncooperative and entitled. If you don't leave, how you doing? Trespassing because you're on her property. She doesn't want you here. I'm not. This is the property right here. So let me stand over here. Though. You have no other reason to be in this complex. So I just told you my reason. Okay, and That's I'm telling you, I'm telling you that by law, you're, she don't want you That's here. Not, the daughter's not the answering law. the phone. Okay. That's y'all statutes so, and codes. I know my law. Okay. So I know I can. Okay. But I'm just but trying I'm to tell your you daughter. That, hello. Ma'am, can you How do I know window? that though? How do I know that? She that that, that hasn't came out her mouth. So I, I asked you once and now I'm telling you the third time I'm gonna put my hands on you and I'm gonna physically oh, remove away. you from the property. So you walk away and you get in your car, or this is gonna turn into something that it doesn't have to be. That's cool. But okay. to talk to That's not That's hey, get in your car. Where's your car? Now. Where is your car? Listen. His car is right there. Okay, get in your car and leave. Why are you putting? Are you tensing on I me? I just explained everything to you. I told you to leave, or we're gonna I put our hands on you. And you do have to leave. Why do I have? I to? explained that What's to the you. Law? She does What's not want law? you trespassing. Well, she no, does that's not, not want a law you that here. I can get arrested for? Yes, it is. You know that. It is a law. Sit so do you want to? Do you want to go to jail and find out? Because if you do, I will take you. You you are if you don't leave. I don't have to leave. Yes, you do. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't want to do that. Stay over there. Stay over there. After several warnings to leave the area, it became evident that the young man wasn't going to comply, and he was subsequently arrested. But even this did not make him change his attitude. People just make stuff so hard. I explained it to him three times. That's cool. You don't know what my life and what I've been going through. That's fine. If I want to talk to her daughter, I could come now. And you no, know you that. don't. That's when we ask you to leave, no. I don't care. I don't know y'all. Y'all nobody to me. Okay, well, you will find out when you go to, you go to jail. Move your hand. If I go to jail, I'm not staying there. Y'all know that. So I'm not scared of y'all. What y'all talking about, bro? That's. Y'all know I'm not going to stay in jail. That's not a law. That's a statute. Give me that. Give me Give me that damn key. Let it go. Let it go. That's out. Let the key go. For what? Listen. Y'all doing the move. We black jail. people. You You're going to people. jail. You going to we jail. We black people. You gonna go home and look. You gonna look at yourself like, damn, I arrested a kid just cause I wanted to. Just cause you wanted to talk to a girl. I got it. I got it. After placing him in the police cruiser, officers proceeded to question the supposed girlfriend, and we soon found out the kind of person he really is. Hello. What's going on? Is going on. He's stalking me. He won't leave me alone. He's crazy. I've been recording every single time that he's come here, every single time that he's texted my phone. He's like harassing me, and he won't. Clearly, you see, he won't leave me alone. This isn't the first time he showed up here. I don't know how many times he showed up here when I haven't been home. Okay? She's already told him on a previous occasion to leave me alone, and he doesn't listen. So you don't want him here. You don't want him here. No, no we told him no, the same no, time. You're not even supposed to park there. You're not even supposed to be over there. How long has this been going on for? It's been going on for about a month now. A month? A month now. This is ridiculous. Okay. You know no problem. where we live in today? You can't yeah, just it's hear. crazy. Wait right here. Don't leave. Let me talk to my partner for a second. You can hear this. I don't want anything to do with you. Do not show up to my house again. Stop watching me and do not show up to my house again. Do you understand me? Everyone is sitting out here hearing me say this. You're hearing me say this. They're hearing me say this. Don't show up to my house again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're okay, crazy. You're that's enough. Later, the lady was advised to seek a restraining order from a judge. But when the young man was confronted again and told he wasn't allowed back in the area, he didn't take it lightly. You are officially being trespassed from this property. You have no reason to be here. Um, that's the reason. They don't want you here. All right, that's cool. So what I have done is I have completed a written trespass form. If you come back on this property within this complex within a year, 
and you know, police you know, see you on the police. How you going to sit there and tell me that? If I want to, I could do that. And y'all y'all can't take me to jail. You know if that. If police see you on a property well, after this warrant me, has um, home, been bro. completed, you will That's be crazy. taken to jail. So bro, I'm not today is I thought I was going to jail from the jump. Stop lying to the people. Today is September. You just lied he said I'm going to jail. Today is sit there are lots of people when y'all arrest them. Stop lying. Today is September 10th, 2022. Yeah, just take if you come back on this property leave, before bro. September 10th, 2023, bro, I just told you don't have no power over year, me. Next year, I do what I want. You will be taken to jail. Life. So I do not come back handcuffs. before next year. What did I just tell you? You understand what you I just said? Me. I owe myself. I do you understand what I just said? And I no, I don't understand. What, what, you what part right don't you understand? Two times, but never What part do you not understand? Bro. I don't understand. That's it. I'm about to beg. You thought you was gonna get me? I don't understand. Stupid. Take me out these cuffs. I don't understand. You thought Do you understand? You you've been trespassed. Understand. Take me out these cuffs now. I don't understand. Take me out these cuffs. Okay, I'm done. He's going to jail. I'm over it. I'm so done. With this. The young man was transported to the station, where he was later charged with stalking and trespass after warning. However, things only get more troublesome and these supposed men just keep showing the little girls they actually are. I can't be going to jail for no goddamn reason! Because you want to take somebody to jail so you can feel good about yourself? Man, f you, b this is 30-year-old Philip Paul, who on July 26, 2021, was involved in a heated altercation with his mother, prompting a concerned neighbor to call the police to intervene. However, when police officers arrived, they had no idea of the kind of person they were about to encounter. Officer Lowry, Port Orange Police, what's going on now? No, I'm the mother. No. I just How about want that? my son to leave. We already got officers over there. What's going on? Yeah, that's where we just came from. That's what she's worried about. We right, just came this from is the this first, motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Arguing. No, no, hold on. This, no, no, no. Listen to me. Watch out. This no, I'm not first, watching out for nothing. This is the first time period. I've been over here tonight. I don't give a What's fuck going your on? Time is. What's going on, man? Figure it out, dude. That's your job, ain't it? Okay, well, come over here and please, talk to me then. Hey, am I suspected of a crime? Don't fuck up to me. I have a domestic disturbance going on over here, so you're going to talk with me. That's fine. There's eight motherfuckers around here. Okay, what is going on? You're talking to somebody else, not me. What is going on? Get your shit together, officer. I right. guarantee you, you're walking in here. I okay. promise you, you ain't walking in here. He, he, I, I'm somebody. I, I'm residing house. here. Hey, That's who no, I am. Just Get the fuck over it. Okay, so. What's your problem, man? You, you're my problem. What's your problem? No. Back the fuck up, bro. I'm here. So I don't give a fuck who you are. I know I'm one call. You're just the lowest on the fucking total pole. I'm here. Talk to you and figure out what's going on. Get, get, okay, go figure it out. You saw somebody get an accident? You're, hey, did you see somebody just get in an accident? Out, hey, listen, did you just see somebody get an dude, accident? Yes or no? No, dude. No, I'm calming you down. Did you hear me? You, 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 you handle my tax dollars, right? So you're going to listen to me. Did you just see somebody get an accident? Yes or no? What is the argument? Did about? you just see? There's no argument. Did you it's see somebody get into an accident? Okay. Yes or no? Right, who are you to him? Hey, listen. Did, no, you're not talking to her. Hey, listen. You're gonna no, no, no. Get, get out of my face, man. I'm not in your face. You're on my, my, my face. property, bitch. You need to calm down. Yo, no, you're going to go in handcuffs right now. Put me in handcuffs. You're about to. Okay, for, you what for what reason? For what reason? Because you're not sir. listening to what I'm telling you. And, and that's not a law, motherfucker. Screaming and, and that's in my not face. a law, bitch. Go no, no, sit down. That's not a law. No, f that. That's not no law. You can't tell me to sit down just because you want to. Goodness, Why are you showing me a f law? Please go down with you, man. So we just saw somebody get an ass today. So go handle that shit. I have officers over okay, there. Hey, we'll go handle Stop that. Screaming. Don't worry about me, bro. There's an officer over there. Okay, that. we're good. Go handle that then. Out of nowhere, Philip, who was clearly drunk, began to scream at the officers and refused to listen to anybody's heed to calm down. However, when Philip finally decided to explain what had happened, he began to tell a different story. Okay, no. we left the damn gas station. We drove in this motherfucker's ear. Okay. We, we left the gas station. Okay. We're walking from the gas station. Okay. And this motherfucker comes hauling up by us and wrecks. Okay. And then, so then you guys come Nobody's back. Nobody's driving or nothing. We were walking from the gas station. That, okay. So then you guys well, come back okay. here and what happened? Nothing. She's all freaking out because she thinks that I was like involved in that or something like with her little boy, my okay. son, or my, my little brother. We were walking from the store. We, we saw somebody hauling out. Okay. So we ran here and we're like, holy shit, somebody just wrecked. And so my mom's all excited about everything. Okay. Of course okay. everybody decided. I got you. Okay. So that's what's going on. There's nothing. There's no problems. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so at any point, oh, now we're arguing before. Like, at any oh, point, did get fuck over that shit. At any point, did get physical to anybody? 
I don't know. Did it get physical? The six five, we'll go for it. Yeah, I'm asking. What during? I would have gotten physical when we saw somebody wreck no, no, the car. That, that's like the only thing that we had on our minds is that car just wrecking. I'm saying when you got when you got back here and, and your mom was worried that she thought that was you guys. Did, did anything physical happen? No, no hell no. There's no. no domestic violence. I got buddies okay. that are in the car. I about was a cop, so no. There's okay. no DD, okay. baby. Okay. Contrary to the reports, Philip denied being physical with anybody. But as the investigation continued, we soon found out that there's more to Philip's story. Who are you to him? I'm, that's my fiance. Okay, why are you guys continuing the argument? No, 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 it's not us. Not, it's not us now. Earlier, it was us. Um, obviously, he's been drinking. Okay, you guys were arguing before? Yeah, but he was just... Now you're not arguing? No. Then wh why is he so upset with me and screaming and yelling? Okay, because his mom just got here, and his truck is loud. He he doesn't have, like, a Cadillac converter or anything, so, you know, okay. his truck's really loud. And, um, so... He just took them to the store, and okay. they were seeing this guy, I guess he was all f***ed up or whatever, and so they were following him because Phil was telling him, he's like, oh, they're about to, that guy's about to wreck. So the guy, er, he followed the guy, and sure enough, this guy wrecks. Okay. So then he goes and turns around and comes back, and his truck is loud, and she's freaking out thinking that he's doing like 100 down the road, but all three of the kids were like saying no. His truck's loud, okay. and we were just following the so car, and we turned around. were they arguing now? Yes, because she was trying to Just a verbal that. argument? Yes. So, Are you his mom? Yes. Okay, what is the world is going on now? I, I don't know. I just, he gets, he just gets very loud. You just saw how he was screaming and yelling at me. What's that? Yeah, you just saw how he was screaming okay, and yelling at me. Okay, he was screaming at okay. me, but ten times worse. That's how he used so to be drinking. So, this time, yeah, I just they, they, those two weren't arguing. We were now it's. Our, we were earlier, but yeah, then we stopped. Yeah, this time. I'm talking the third time now the police have been here. Oh, so I didn't know that. I just got This is the third yeah, time now. Yeah. I so, just got, I just, I, I don't. You guys, got a ver good. you guys got in a ver verbal argument? Yes. Over what? Because I thought that he was speeding with my kid, my son, my other son, in the car. And apparently, I guess it wasn't him that was speeding, but so I, of course, you know, Freaked out I freaked because out because here I'm thinking, young. and there he's drinking, and... At this point, the officers finally understood that the reason for the altercation was that Philip was drunk, driving with a child in the car. But instead of understanding the gravity of his actions, Philip chose to be entitled, escalating the situation drastically. You guys started arguing about about you thinking he was speeding? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, speeding. I mean, speeding. You see what happened to that other vehicle? Because he's got my youngest son. He's drinking. I mean, he's driving, driving and drinking. I mean, that's oh, I'm driving and drinking, huh? Yeah, you are. Hey, hey, I, I hey, drove this hey, vehicle. You didn't want to talk to us, so hey, hey, that's fine. Hey, am I suspected of a crime? I don't um, think so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna why keep so my room. No, I, I just like to, I like I to have- There's glasses up on the ground. Yeah, there's glasses. So, so watch your steps. I'm, I'm just making sure you don't cut your foot. I'm not leaving tonight. Yeah, you are. I don't want you to. My kids are asleep. I'm not leaving tonight. What are you? I'm not leaving tonight. Where do you live at? You are going. I don't want to leave tonight. That doesn't matter. It's only gonna get worse. No, we're gonna go to sleep. Nobody, there's no, there's no problem. I'm telling you, I don't want you to be here because you're not leaving. Hey, guess what? I'm not leaving. You are. I'm not leaving tonight. No, I'm not. I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm not leaving. My kids are in here sleeping. I'm not leaving. You don't. You don't live here. She wants you to leave. Hey, I got mail coming here every day. You want to play that card? Yeah, he does not. I got mail coming here every day. He's in the back up out of my office. Hey, I'm right here. You're in my face. What are you gonna do, Molly? You need to step back. Are you gonna push me back? Step. Back. Are you gonna push me back? Step back. I'm then. good. Is, is that a law for me Step to be right back. here? Step back. Tell me a Get law that gives me a distance to be from you and Mr. Davis and Lowry. So sh tell Step me the law that back. tells me I can't be right here. You're, you're, you're invading his space. And you're, you're in my property. You're in my because space. Call here. That's fine. Yeah, tell him to back up. Listen to your superior officer. Okay, same as me. Okay, so sir. listen to your superior sir. officer. Sir, relax. What's sir. up? You Calm down. Here. Okay. She wants you off her property. Okay, but I get mail here every day. So I'm yeah, one reason you cannot live here. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean but I, I've been living here for the past two weeks, so I'm not uh, leaving right now. One week, it's been one week. So and I have a house, but I'm not leaving right now. My kids are sleeping. I want you to leave because you're stuck with me. That's about Okay, but I'm not leaving. Well, you don't, you don't live here. But I'm not leaving, period. Due to Philip's constant agitation and refusal to calm down, his mother decided that the young man was no longer allowed in the house. But he resisted, and his sense of entitlement only got worse, leaving the officers no choice but to do what they should have done in the beginning. Do you live in North Carolina with him as well? Oh, uh, but, but, yeah, we're about to go. Yeah, 
out of here with your I'm questions, I'm not talking bro. to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm not bro. talking to you. But I'm fucking talking to you. Okay, I'm not talking to you. Okay, so and relax. I'm talking to you. Okay, I'm talking to her. Yeah, I'm talking to her. Okay? Yeah, we can go in circles, but guess what? We're going to the same thing. Uh, you, you have a valid driver's license. Let's talk to them. Okay, I'm going to go inside. Let's, let's, get, let's get each other. Let me go inside. Let me go inside. No, you didn't go inside. Okay. I'm going to go inside. Oh, I'm going inside. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Oh, she's going to put your fucking hands on me. I'll be right now. Dude, get your Hands up. I have done Stop. nothing. You have no right to put your I don't hands know up. Who you think I'm you glad are. I got a camera sitting on my truck. Right well, I'm here. glad you do too. Okay. Put it hey, down. Hey. Really? Put it down. Put it down. Hey. You're gonna I've done nothing. I'm not getting in handcuffs. Hey. I'm not getting it. Get off of me. I have not done nothing to be here. Am I detained? No, now you're not. For what? Now you're in the rest for what? Now you're in the rest for what? Now you're in the rest for what? Relax. Here you go. Relax. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm not black. I didn't say you were. I'm not black. So let you in. Be easy, mother. Relax, man. Now you f***ing relax. After being put in handcuffs, he was escorted to the police cruiser, but it was evident that Philip was not going to take responsibility for his actions. Hey, listen, this is why I'm upset is because we just witnessed an accident and I'm getting dealt with like this. We just witnessed a f***ing accident. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Yeah, this left, the left one. Uh, okay, right okay, let me, let, me, let me look at him. It, it's eating me you up. You gotta stop moving around. That's what makes him tied up. No, but I shouldn't even be in here. I, I have no reason to be detained. I just got here. I know, I but, know. but I have no reason to be detained. They just, I literally stepped off of my porch and this dude bear hugged me and threw me in f***ing cuffs. You can ask my girl. I, I she you threw me in cuffs. Down. You're screaming at me, man. I can't Yeah, but it. I'm in cuffs for no f***ing reason, Listen, God damn it. Okay, then we're not gonna fix them if you're not calming down. Why the f*** am I in God cuffs? No, stay in the car. Man, get your f***ing hands off me, bro. Stay in the car. Man, get off of me. I'm try Listen, I'm trying to listen to the cuffs up for you. All right. I am respecting. I don't need to be in cuffs. You don't respect me or them. Oh, wow, mother f***er. They don't need to have me in cuffs. They got no le legitimate, lawfully reason to have me in cuffs. Get the f*** You got no reason to have me in God cuffs. Give me a lawful reason why you cuffing me. Tell me that nobody said I was in, in Cuffed. Right Nobody now. said I was f okay. right. locked up, right and then they just f cuffed me. Do you want an answer or not? Because you're yelling over me. Well, Bubba, I have done nothing. My, we just Keep witnessed an accident. There. Keep your feet over we there. We witnessed where they an belong. accident, sir. Okay. That's it. We're excited. That's what. That's all it is. We just saw an accident in front of us. God damn. Put back where you're supposed to have your foot. Hey, here you go. Does that, does that work for you, officer? It does. You're gonna cut your foot on that thing. I don't want you to here, cut your foot. I don't want to do that either, sir. Don't we're in agreement. Cool. Like, right. dude, like, literally, what have I done to be deserved to put in cuffs? Because I, I speak my f***ing mind. Everybody wants to get personal and put me in cuffs then. What, what's your name? Philip D. Philip. Okay, Philip. I literally just got here. Yeah, but sir, I'm I in was, cuffs for no Phil, reason. Phil, I don't know I that. I stepped off my porch and Phil, they said that I was resisting arrest because I stepped off my porch. Philip, take a deep breath. Take a second so I can figure I'm out I'm in happened. cuffs. How do you expect me to take a deep breath? Breath. You want to put you in cuffs and have you take a deep breath? Soon after, the neighbor who had called the cops was interrogated, and the truth was finally revealed. He was leaving after getting into it again with the with his significant other, the uh, female red. Okay. Um, he was leaving. The on actual, foot or in a car? In the vehicle. Okay. All right. Um, the actual lessee of the property is the smaller female with the black hair that drives the white car. Okay. She was coming back. He saw her coming back. He came down. She was right behind him. Um, actually, sorry. Let me let me go back. She had showed up after he left. Okay. The skinnier, tall male. Um, somehow up here, he might have been in the vehicle. I hear them going at it. The smaller, black-haired female and the tall, skinny guy. They're going at it. She leaves. Okay. The fat guy in the that you guys have in cuffs came back she's right behind him three feet on his tail okay they both pull in he gets out of the truck and comes back towards her vehicle she's in the door frame he's hooting and hollering screaming at her takes the door and pinches her in between the door and the frame he retreats back into the carport she goes back up to her car does not go after him she goes back up to her car she's getting ready to call 911 saying that she's getting ready to call 911 so he comes out and slaps the phone out of her hand. Okay. Salt number two and preventing her from calling 911. Yeah. He starts changing his focus over to one of the teenagers. Comes up, starts poking him in the chest, telling him the I don't even know, I couldn't Do even You know hear. what teenager that was? Uh, I, 
it's kind of hard to see out. Uh, it's a little far. I believe okay. it was the one of the green shirt. Okay. But there's three of them are like the same size. Okay. You know, it's kind of hard to tell, distinguish. Um, plus, there was a lot more other sh going on. Um, so, like I said, I was on the phone dispatch, and you guys showed up um, maybe 30 to 45 seconds after he had slapped the phone out of her okay. hand. With this, Philip was confronted again, but instead of confessing, he stood his ground. So when you got back here, did you and your mom just get in a verbal argument? No, when we got in a little like, a argument yell, yell verbally yell about that, right there, about the arc accident. Did she say anything about like she thought you were speeding or something like no. that? No. Okay. It, what, what was the argument about? I, literally, I have honestly, I've got no idea. It's just she, she was she she heard the car got to, to a crash, so I understand that's probably why she was upset. She heard that car get into an accident. So, so she would, think like you were involved. I, I would I would assume that she would would think that you, she we, thought, we got into an accident. Okay. So you, she, you thought that's probably that's why she was probably upset. what she okay. thought. That's the only that's the, literally that's the only thing I could come up with. All right. So, I, I literally have nothing else. Like. All right. So. She thought that you guys got in a car accident. That's what I would, I mean, I guess. She got angry. You guys started arguing. Did anything physical happen between you no, guys? No, sir. At any point in time, okay, did she tell you she was going to call 911? No, sir. She never told you that she was going to call 911? I 9 -1 -1? mean, I, not that I heard, no. Okay, so she never told you she was going to call 911. At any point, did you push her, push the, a car door? No, sir. Her car door? No, sir. Okay, she said she was standing outside of the car door. Her driver's side? Uh -huh. Did you push the car door into no, her sir. at any point in time? No. W okay. were, were you guys close together near the car? Say if some neighbor was looking, it could have looked like that might have happened? No. I mean, I mean, we we were talking by her car, but nothing like that ever transpired. Because, I mean, obviously we're asking these fairly specific questions yeah, because I, somebody I, thinks they saw that, right? Yeah, well, definitely. So, definitely so definitely help me that. understand why they think That's they saw that. Mother. That's my mom. I would I never you. do anything to harm my mother. All right, Dan, but... Like, we literally just watched an accident. That's the but, only but thing Phil, we're excited Phil, about. Phil, remember how you were all excited? You're jumping around, you're screaming, yelling at us. All, like, you, yeah, you because were, we just saw an I, accident. I what about uh, your brother? Okay, what about you, him? At any point in time, did you put your hands on your brother? Never. Okay. Ever, ever, ever. I'm just talking about just tonight. All right? Oh, I was going to say ever, 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 ever. Tonight, ever? never, ever, oh, ever. Because I got brothers. That, yeah, I got brothers, too. That would not necessarily be correct. Not not tonight, never, ever. My little okay. brother's 15 years younger than, more, younger than me, so it's different. Later, police officers discovered that Philip had an existing warrant, and it didn't take long before the 30-year-old realized the kind of trouble he was in. Why do I gotta go to jail? Because you have a warrant out of South Carolina. I can't. Yeah, but that's not extraditable. I've, I've been, I've been talked to, I've talked to the cops no, no. before, okay. and I know so, that. So, so you have missed a court date in South Carolina because you have a warrant. North there. Carolina. Or sorry, North, wh wherever. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. I cannot issue you a court date if you have so previously missed a court date. So what I gotta do? I gotta go to jail tonight. What happens tonight? He does, he's gonna we're gonna take you to the, the please, police. Please, sir. Phil, calm down. Be calm. Please, man, I got my Phil, baby. Man. If you're calm, I can work with you. If you're not, I can't. Right? Yes, sir. Just right? please Remember? work with me. Take, R O Army, please. Like I got my baby, take, sir. Phil, take a deep breath. Please, I got I, my penis. I got rules I gotta follow. Remember earlier I told you we follow the rules? I've done nothing tonight like to deserve yeah. this. Like my deep my, breath. My, my we we witnessed an accident. You're spiraling. Deep breath. Focus. I need you to focus for the kids. My because baby. If, Phil, if you if you cause a problem, it causes I more problems. I don't wanna cause no problems. I'll problem go for home you. tonight. Like I don't Phil, care. Focus. All right. My babies are in the need their daddy. Phil, focus. My daughter's gonna You're freak not focusing. out. Alright? We have to take you to the station. Can I? Can you please Phil, bring my fiance out here? Give me a second. Let please? me tell you, Phil. I told you I'd work with you. Let me tell you what's going on, and then make sure you're calm, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. We got to take you to the station. We're gonna put you in a temporary. It's it's just called a temporary holding cell. Please okay? don't do this. Phil, listen. Crying doesn't help me. Okay. I need you to focus. Be an adult and understand what's gonna happen, so we can but work together. But I didn't together. do nothing to you Phil, guys. Phil. We went over this. Sir, I understand. Was it we North Carolina? No, it's unrestrictable. It's nothing here. I understand that, but you missed that court date. <laughs> I know, but it's a $300 bail. I'm going hey, up there. This has Tuesday. nothing to do with that. The issue is the chief judge of the 7th Circuit in oh, Florida okay. says if someone has missed a court date, I cannot give them a court date. They have to see a judge. Please. Okay? But if you thought this is where it ends, you're wrong. As Philip's demeanor shifted from being sad and cooperative to becoming aggressive. Are you serious right now? Phil, you banged your head. I can't have you doing that. You're gonna hurt yourself. I can't be going to jail for no goddamn reason! Because you want to take somebody to jail so you can feel good about yourself? Man, f*** you, bitch. 
I'll be out, and guess what? I'll be out. Yeah, you'll be out. Yeah, I'll be out. I'll be out before the f***ing morning. No, you won't. Why? Oh, I not, no, I won't. But why am I going to jail? Phil. Mom! Phil. Mom! Put your foot back in that car or you're going to get charged with escape. Do you understand? Mom! Get the f*** off me. Y'all stay over there. Stay over there. Phil. Man, f*** you. Phil, look at me. Man, f*** all you guys. Phil. Get your hands off me. Phil, Back you car. need to calm down or you get charged with felonies or you're not going to get out of jail. I'm going to get charged with felonies? If you don't come Mom, around and put your foot in the car. get me out of jail. Phil. Man, get your f***ing hands off me. Close the goddamn door, you stupid motherfucker. Get your foot Close the goddamn door, bitch. Get your f***ing hands off of me. Get back. I'm inside, you, you stupid f***. I'm in the car, you dumb motherfucker. Close the door. You better come get me out, Mom. In the end, Philip was taken to jail and charged with tampering with a witness, battery, and resisting with his bail set at $6,000. But if you thought Philip was stupid, wait until you meet this next suspect. Get out of my car, man. What the f are you doing? I, I said get the f out of my Miles, car. Back, back up, back. man. Step back. Dude, step you back. have no right to hey, on my step Step back. This is 35-year-old Miles Aldinger, who on April 8, 2023, crashed into a curb and got stuck in Joliet, Illinois. The crash was then reported to the police, but when a responding officer arrived, he found Miles unperturbed about the situation. Hey, dude. Ah! What are you gonna do here, dude? Huh? Wait for my car. Yeah, you over the curb, man. Car. What do you mean you're waiting for it? 2423. I'm waiting for my car. Right. Yeah, uh, you have a what? I'm, I'm here with some business right now, man. No, oh, I know. It's over. The, I know. I get it. So, what are you going to do about it? Can we just move it? Huh? Can I just move it? No, you can't. Let I me mean, look at it, dude. What the f are you talking about, man? You can't just move it. Yeah. Come look at it. Bro. Oh, no, I know. No, I did. I know. I'm waiting for my car. You, um, hey, look, dude, I'm not trying to give you a hard Listen, time. Listen, I know, I know, brother. First of all, just call, call me, call me officer, okay? Yes, sir. All right. All right. I get it. All I right. get it. So, yeah, just going to have a seat, man. No, I'm waiting for my car. Yeah, that's what I work for. That's what I work for. They got a tow truck company or something? Yeah, something like that. Going to have a seat, man. It's no, I'm not sitting with All right. Get out of here. Who are you talking to, dude? Step back, man. No, man. Who are you talking? Hey, just to? relax, bro. Who are you talking to? It's all good, bro. No, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna feel like that, bro. You work you work. That's right. You work. Yeah, yeah. Get the back. Step back, dude. Step back. 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 I'm gonna call a tow truck, dude. No, you don't need to call a tow truck. You gotta get it out of here. During the encounter, Miles responded incoherently, and when the officer advised that he called a tow truck, he suddenly became confrontational. However, this was just the beginning of his belligerent behavior. That's what you do? You got a tow truck coming, or we gotta call somebody? Could I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Central from 25. You should take some new training, bro. You're a Can you send me another unit this way, please? You got a tow truck coming, dude? You got a tow truck coming? You got a tow truck coming, dude? Back up, on the phone. Alright. Back up. For some reason, Miles continued with his attitude, causing the officer to withdraw and call for backup before taking any other action. Later, another officer arrives on scene and Miles was confronted again. However, that was when Miles escalated the situation. Hey, how you doing? So this is gonna happen, dude. Are you calling a tow or what? Huh? Yes. All right, who are you calling? How long before they get here? I'm not here too. Not as a, who, who do you call? Let me know who you call. My guy. Can you put him on speakerphone so we can see? No. Nope. Don't work like that. 
Hey, Miles. You know it don't work like that. Miles. What? What? A after I just helped you out earlier, you're going to be confrontational with him? Am I being confrontational, man? I'm trying to f***ing wait for a tow, man. What do you want me to do? I'm f***ing pulled over the edge. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing, bro. I'm waiting for a f***ing tow. Mm -hmm. look, look at me, bro. You know I am. I'm okay, not trying to be confrontational with you. What What tow company? I'm not calling a f***ing tow company, dude. I work. Get out of my car, man. What is what are you doing? I, I said get the f out of my Miles, car. Back, back, step up, back. Man. Step back. Dude, don't you, ha step you, have, you have no f don't You have back. no right to hey, go on my vehicle. I'm you step back. Dude, I'm, I'm you standing back. right here. Step Put your back. hand on me again. I'm asking you to Put step back. Put your hands on me again. Right. I'm asking you to stay out of my car. You have no right to go in my car. Yeah, I'm you have no right to go in my car. Give me your name. No. What's your name? Give me your name. You. Give me your name and ID. You, What's dude, your name? You, you passed that up when you went in my car without What's him. What's your name? Hey, step back. You went, step you, back. Step, you, I'm asking you to step back. I'm asking you not back. to go in my step car. Back. Step back. I'm asking you not to go right. in my car. Step back. You know you what? You have no right to go in my car. In confrontation. Let me put let me pat you down and make sure you don't got anything on you. Right. Yeah, your hands up. Hey, man. Bro, you know I don't have anything on me. Let my arm down a little bit, You know what, you've been confrontational, dude. You walked up to me in an aggressive manner. So right now, hey, until, we figure out, until we figure out what's going on, dude, I'm going to put you in handcuffs for my safety. All right? Yeah, that's, that's how that works. Yeah, yeah, all that's right? cool. You don't have to slam my head around, man. After determining that Miles was acting suspicious, the officers concluded that he should be detained for further investigation. However, Miles kept up with his attitude and left the officers no other option but to place him in the police cruiser. Sit down, Miles. You, dude. Miles, sit down, you, dude. All right. I'm not sitting down. Yeah, we're gonna go in my car. All right, let me, let me on the car. No, 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 no. you're too late, dude. Just put me on the car right here. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Put me on the car right here. No, no we're sitting the in the car. No, put me on the car right here. Put me on the curb, dog. You don't want to follow instructions. Put me on the curb. Listen, just put I try, me, no. Put me on the curb. Dude, give me your fing. Dude. Put me on the curb, man. Put me on the curb. Have a seat. Yes, sir. All the way. I know I'm trying to got something. You got you guys got something in my foot. Dude, get me. All unlock way. unlock me for one second so I can please un I gotta brush off my feet, bro. Please. Give me your foot. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fine. That's fine. Watch your foot. Yes, sir. Put your knee in. Put your knee in the car. It is. It's in. It's in. Thank you. Miles. What are you doing, bro? Get in the car. What the f are you doing, man? What is your problem right now? Due to Miles confrontational with the officer, even after he was told to stay back, it was decided he would be taken to jail for booking. However, during the journey, Miles refused to acknowledge his actions and soon began to act entitled. You're really taking me to jail for assault? Talk to a cop? You weren't talking, man. You were approaching my partner aggressively. Dude, he so kept telling you to stand back and you kept running into his hand. You're gonna take me to jail for that? Yes. You're gonna ruin my life for trying to talk to a dude. I didn't ruin your life. You you just ruined your You're life. You're being ignorant, man. Why can't you guys just let me out of the parking lot? I'm trying to get a ride out of here. You're out of your Central mind. Central 20. Being around one male 95 to Central. What the fuck is wrong with you guys, man? You can't just be like, hey, man, this guy's having a bad night. His car is off a cliff. Let him go. Really? Dude, I'm talking to you like you human being, bro. You talk bad. Okay, what What do you think people feel when you get in their face and you're clenching your fist? After they tell you Dude, to stand I, back? I think I'm trying to go, I think I'm trying to go back to my vehicle. That's not how people communicate. Your vehicle's hanging off, you your, your vehicle's hanging off a, a curb. You're right. And you have open alcohol in your car. I know, because I can hold off and I couldn't go anywhere. So I walked to my room, which is six feet away, which you guys can see that, and I, I drank a twist of tea, bro. I called my buddy, and he could come pull me off of that Why are you guys doing this to me, dude? Because I had a little, did I hurt you? Did I hurt your buddy? I didn't threaten you, I didn't threaten your buddy, man. I was a little bit excited, yeah, and I walked up on you guys, big deal, man. Like, what the f 
You're gonna take me to jail over this and ruin everything? Come on, man. Be a human being, dude. Miles was later placed in custody on probable cause of assault and obstructing identification and was released on his own recognizance. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.